Greetings! Welcome to Bruce of the Eclectic World. And today's final of the Mars Garage Rusty Group Build. This is my 1976 monogram Firebird I got from Ollie's. Uh, <laughs> and we decided to make it a Rusty Bucket. As you can see, I think we did pretty good this time. We didn't go all nuts. Well, we did, but in a different way. <laughs> so, first off, I want to thank Mars at Mars Garage for hosting this. Another great job, Mars. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoying everybody else's updates and builds. And I got mine done, Mars. I told you I would. So, <laughs> thank you, Mars. I'm looking forward to next year. I think I've already got a kit picked out for next year. So, providing a good Lord lets us be around. With that said, you're probably wondering where the gang is. Uh, they're off uh, on vacation. I mean, I don't get a vacation. But, hey, okay, whatever. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I think they're checking on Ugg. He's, he's still in uh, uh, recovery. That's it. He's in recovery. But uh, he'll be back soon. Anyhow, we, uh, we did uh, several new techniques on this thing. We did uh, chipping uh, with salt and glue. Then we did some just glue. I did find out a new way to do it uh, next time with just plain water. And we'll probably try that too. Uh, and salt. There is a, a thousand different, uh, B, let's see, a thousand and one different ways of doing things in Linux and on model cars. So, <laughs> uh, another one of those tank guy videos. So, you know, the armor division, they always come through with good suggestions and, and things. So as I spin this around, yeah, the trunk has been up on it. Uh, the kid found this in the uh, field sitting next to that, uh, Mach 1. If anyone remembers that one. And uh, it's not too bad a shape. It's actually drivable. Somebody just parked it there. Uh, he rolled the windows down and started getting it cleaned up and stuff, and it it uh, it is runnable. Uh, but like I said, you know, we tried some different techniques. We uh, did a little bit different way uh, than we did on the last two of how we uh, rested it out. We had a picture of a car. And if I think about it, I'll show a picture right here. On a record that looked just like this, and it's the same color. And that was the color I picked the paint to start with, so that a happy coincidence. And uh, we did some stippling and shading and just all kinds of different little things. Uh, we used some of the Tamiya powders to dirty the windshield and stuff up. Um, same way with the uh, headlights. Of course, if I, I turn it this way, then you can see it better, huh? Um, put a little bit of green moss on it here and there. Uh, it's mostly evident back here across the bumper. It's also starting to uh, take over. So he caught it just in time. Um, did some pencil shading. Just little little things of trying out. And uh, we're happy with what, what it, how it uh, turned out. And I need, uh, hang on a second. I don't have my pointer. Where is Red? I don't know where Red's at. He's... He's out wandering in the neighborhood. 
uh, we have to use tweezers to get the hood off, believe it or not. And there's a reason for that. Because it's uh, got magnets in there. If you, can, if you can tell me where the magnets are. <laughs> but, uh, oops. I'm trying to work around all these lights and cameras is a little bit tough. So as you can see, the engine is complete when he found the car. Uh, let me bring it up here a little bit. I may have to focus. It's got a little bit of dirt in it and stuff. It's got a little bit of dirt and stuff in it. Um, we weathered it fairly decent since we got it up here this close. I was just going to zoom it in, but as you can see, we did... Uh, uh, some rusty hose in it. Uh, you've seen in some of the updates. I don't know why. You're, all these lights, I don't have enough light. Isn't that weird? Let's try that light. So you can see the, the hose. Here we go. If we get it closer, you might be able to see better. But we did, did some chipping on it. Focus. And uh, just dirted it up. We uh, were quite proud of what we did this time. I think we did a whole lot better job. I mean, you know, it's, it's all learning process. I mean, it's, you know, it's rotted through here and there up in there and uh, this side turned out pretty good too so let me put this back down here and uh, it's uh, one of our better jobs I really enjoy this process. Uh, I want to thank Mars for <laughs> getting me hooked on it. Yeah, we're going to blame Mars because, you know, he's the rusty guy. But uh, <clears throat> we'll show some pictures of the interior and stuff after the video. And uh, it's a... Uh, my, my buddy Jason over... Uh, KRD Klein Racing Design turned me on to using magnets on the hood. So when you do this, the hood don't fall off. <laughs> you know, I slide around inside the case sometimes and the hood falls off. So you take the top off, put the hood back on, and try to put it back on the shelf without knocking the hood loose. Uh, I was using Tic Tac, but hey, I like this too. Eh. So it's not sitting down right. That's okay. It's a it's a junk car. Oh, and I want to give a sh uh, another shout out to my buddy Frank over at Frank's Model Works. I want to, I want to thank Frank for the card. We traded cards. I got fun. I got some new shop cards in. So. Uh, let me, let me grab one. So if anybody wants a, a shop card, let me know and we'll, we'll send you out one. Just hit, the, hit up the email address. Uh, let me see if I can focus this. Boink. Sometimes it focuses, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. There's my email address and uh, we'll uh, get you out of get you out of card so once again thank you each and every one of you uh, awesome modelers that uh, participated in the group build I'm sure Mars appreciates it and like I said thank you Mars we'll be ready for next year 
for the Rusty Bucket Group Build, hosted by Mars Garage. So, take care, everybody. God bless. See you later. Be kind to your neighbors. You don't know when you'll see them again. Do your Rusties your way. You know. Go watch Mars's videos. They're awesome videos on how to get started, what you need, and then you just develop. Go watch some other videos that do that. You know, the armored people, military people, they ha they're the best resources. So go watch the videos. Take care, everybody. God bless. Thank you to the military, by the way, for everything they do and for keeping us safe. So take care, everybody. Catch you in the next video. Thanks, Mars.